Conventional technology uses a socket for suspension, surface electrodes for control. With OS integration, we move from suspension to fixation, which is a lot better mechanical coupling. We get rid of the problems related to the socket. And OS integration basically means that if you put a titanium implant in bone, bone cells will grow tightly around it. And this integration is so strong that you can actually attach the artificial limb directly to the skeleton. And although this alone has a lot of advantages, we're still limited on control by the surface electrodes. So what we decided to do in my group is take this technology further and develop it to be a communication port between implanted electrodes and the prosthetic device. If you go inside a body, you have access to more muscles, you have more reliable signals, and you have access to nerves. Nerves carry the control information from every muscle in your limbs, but also information from the sensors in your hand back to your brain. And very importantly, those neural pathways are still there after an amputation. This technology has allowed us to truly integrate biology and mechatronics. But, you know, this sounds great, but what does it mean for the patient? It has a more precise control of the hand with very little effort. We can treat patients and they can take this technology home. This interface is bidirectional by nature. And this means that we can stimulate the nerves in order to create the perception of sensations coming from the missing hand. 